Hello friends, this is Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming and I am here today to share with you this new journal I made this week. It's a recipe book journal and it is made from a gooseberry patch recipe book. Um, when September 1st rolled around I said I, it's time to make some recipe book uh, journals that kind of bug bit me and I'm so I am I'm making some journals and this is the first one I'm planning to make some more but this one just had a real uh, fall look to it of course because it's called flavors of fall and the colors and like I said it's goose gooseberry patch so um, I've got on the cover I use the original covers as they are because they're so pretty and uh, I bound it with notebook rings so that the person that gets this has the flexibility of adding in their own recipes and um, you know anything they want to um, bind into the notebook rings all they'd have to do is punch holes and add it in and I've got a little rolling pin here on the front cover a little kind of like a rolling pin charm here and we'll just uh, get started at, uh, at with, with a flip through and a quick um, look through uh, the pages and so we've got um, pages from several different uh, recipe books here and I'm going to try to show you the recipe books that I used as we uh, flip through and you know when I get to a page I'll show you what book it was from so like this page these pages with this color on them they're from this recipe book I've got a little sticker up here that says yum and then uh, throughout I've got several of these uh, gingham pages and they're scrapbook paper but they're like sturdy scrapbook paper kind of like a cardstock feel so what I did with all of these gingham pages is make a flip out of them so you can write in here or you can glue in your um, your recipe cards or you could even make this into a big pocket on some of them if you wanted a more pocket room just uh, glue down the edges here so that's that's a an option and then I've got several of these um, vintage notebook pieces of paper here with lines and then this is from a uh, scrapbook a scrapbook um, recipe book that I I got from a recipe from a thrift shop this is it right here it's uh, it was wrapped in plastic and brand new someone probably bought this or got it as a gift and never used it and it came with all sorts of goodies it's a binder came with stickers, recipe cards little uh, papers and envelopes and um, all sorts of just fun things uh, here's the sticker, some of the stickers and so I've used several of those throughout this recipe book journal here's one here uh, that I cut out and um, it says recipe for and from the kitchen of and I put one of my little vintage buttons here and then I have several pages from a Reader's Digest magazine that I came across and um, picked up at a pop-up vintage flea market here in my area it's this one right here um, the September 1960 uh, Reader's Digest so it has some great and colorful um, advertisements in there and this is one of them I use several throughout this this journal so they have a lot of color and really I just love the retro look of the uh, advertisements and the people and the, what they're wearing and everything so you'll see several of those of those in here this, um, I have this one here, which is blank. This is a craft colored paper, and here's another one over here with lines. Uh, well, no, not that one. Where is it? There's one with lines here. Well, there's one with lines. We'll come to it. But that is from a recipe journal that I picked up, and it is right here and it has craft colored pages with lines on them uh, lines are on the front and back and it says day, date, ingredients and directions and up here it says recipe and the recipe journal 
and it's just a cute little journal, so I used pages from that in here. And then also the chicken jer chicken uh, cookbook that's right here. They have some cute pictures in here that I wanted to use in this in this journal. Fixing chicken 101 ways, and just look at the cute uh, little images they have in here, the little chicken images all throughout. And so I just thought this would be fun to add to some um, recipe book journals. So that's going to be in here. And then I've got several pieces of graph paper, the notebook paper I already showed you. This is a Reader's Digest page with a little tiny doily that I had in my stash. That's actually a crocheted doily. And then um, this is a page from a um, SNH green stamps. It's got green stamps on both sides and it's clipped in with a little button paper clip there. And I've got some stickers, some cute stickers throughout. So I'll just keep flipping through. Um, this is a milk advertisement from that um, Reader's Digest magazine. Great colors on those, those um, advertisements. And I've got four dividers in here from one of the recipe books. This is a little clip. I'm going to make sure you can see everything. A um, little clip here with some ribbons. And on each of the dividers, in, on the back of each of the four dividers, I have po a pocket. This one has a sticker of a measuring cup. And then, for instance, our example in this one, I have a guest check, check, uh, a recipe card, which lines on this side and blank on the back. And and a uh, this is a a recipe on a card. These cards, I believe, came in some type of subscription. And this one is for gingerbread cookies, and it's just a real pretty colors in that in that one. And I'll show you the pack. Um, I picked up a few of these packs. This one I like, for instance, uh, they were fifty cents each, and I got a packet like this of twenty four, and just you know, all sorts of recipes on these cards. It's got a pretty picture on the front and then the recipes on the back. And so I opened one pack of them and took that. I took a few out and put them in here, but they're just really, um, really, a lot of them have just really pretty pictures. There's a bread, you know, different um, plum crisp uh, Bavarian chocolate cake. So just really pretty pictures and nice recipes. Um, okay, and also I have pages from a Betty, Betty Crocker cookbook, which I will show you because that's going to be one of my next um, recipe book journals. And this is the um, this is the cover, and it just got some really pretty colors. So I'll be using this one as is because I just love the retro look of this color. And it is this one is old. Um, also, this one is. Um, I don't see the copyright. Well, actually, I, this is the copyright page from this one. And it is from, let's see, 1954. So that is an oldie. Oldie but a goodie, and I love the retro colors in there. Another one of those cards in a tuck spot here. So you kind of got the basic idea of the different pages I've used. Um, this is from that big binder scrapbook. I've got several of these envelopes and they all have goodies in them which I won't show you so we can save those as a, as a surprise for whoever gets this. Um, this is uh, two of my vintage buttons and so that's a general idea of the pages in here so we'll just flip through quickly don't want to keep you too long and here's a pocket with a bunch of goodies here and Here's one of those lined pages from that uh, little recipe book journal. So you can kind of see um, what they're from, from what I've already told you. This is a beautiful um, picture or an advertisement from the Reader's Digest. I do have some ledger paper in here. This is from, okay, we hadn't run across one of these yet. This is the first one from the Halloween's Kitchen Tips. And that is, you know, I'm sure most of uh, people that look at uh, vintage books have seen those out and about, but I put a few pages from Heloise Kitchen uh, Hands, and you know this is an oldie. 
So and a little pie, like apple pie sticker there. Another, another little um, embellishment there. So let's just keep, keep flipping through. So you can just get a general idea of the pages, what they look like. Got an apple sticker there. All the stickers I've used are, you know, recipe type or food type. Um, there's a tea time sticker here. So they're all, um, you know, recipe book or cookbook type or food type um, related stickers or recipe cards. Um, got a bunch of goodies here. I'll just point out this one because it's it's um, from a child's encyclopedia and it's it's so pretty it's got some beautiful colors inside and out and that's why I put it in here because it went so well with the fruit um, and the you know overall theme of this uh, journal and uh, I made that and I made several of those so I put one in here uh, there's a big tag in here and I've got some Rick Rack trim on that one and then in this over here I've got a, ba a paper bag with a this is a spatula and spoon um, sticker and I know I have a recipe card in here and some other uh, index cards and things for you to write on and journal on so just real pretty recipe cards that I've put in here This next page is a beautiful one. I just love the colors on this uh, V8 advertisement. Here's quotes. So those are going to be nice and fun to read from the Reader's Digest in 1960. <laughs> I'm sure those will be interesting. I found these little stickers at, at uh, Tuesday morning. I always want to say Ruby Tuesday. Tuesday morning and they have like a dried flower inside. I just wanted to, I've got um, a couple of packages. They have stickers of this size, like the size of a quarter, and they have some that are real tiny. So I put one here and I just think they're so pretty. This is another sticker, sticker here with a button. It's kind of a craft uh, colored sticker with a green button. And I just love the pages from this book. They all have that kind of peachy color and great colors for fall, of course, or any time really. I love the colors in that Betty Crocker too. They have kind of these retro colors in that one too. Here's some more of the Betty Crocker. See those retro colors? So pretty. I saw a car this color yesterday. It was a Jeep. It was so cool. A big shiny rosy pink Jeep. Uh, I love cars that stand out. Here's a refrigerator magnet I put in here. One of those envelopes. Um, this is from the Heloise Kitchen Tips. You can see I um, thought it would be fun, you know, to put stories in here about maybe when you cooked something for your family or cooked with your mom when you were younger, learned how to cook, or you cooked with your grandma. I heard um, a story about a lady that kept her, her recipe books were so important to her that she kept her important papers with her recipe books and by important I mean that includes her will and her will was found among her recipe in her cabinet with her recipe books so that's how important her recipe books sorry my computer is making noises over there but um, that's how important her recipe books were to her she kept her will with her recipe books this is a little tag I made from a little, this uh, had this little teapot in my stash. And I thought it would be fun to put that in here. So, you know, recipe books are very 
cherished so that's why I wanted to make some of these recipe book journals because you can you know keep your recipe books and put this with if you want it to be a recipe book journal you know just add in you know your favorite recipe books and it can be something you can pass down from a mother to a daughter or a grandmother to a grandchild or you know just keep in the family because you know you want to keep track of those family recipes that you know grandma made your favorite favorite oatmeal cookies or pancakes or whatever it was lasagna so here's another one of those advertisements on both sides of that one uh, this is a just a pretty thing I had in my stash so I put put that in here and we're at the back there's a vintage button on this page and this is the last divider with the last pocket here I've got um, besides some tags and cutoffs I've got a couple of recipe cards here and this is an oldie and so those are really that's really pretty I love that one so and here's the back cover so it turned out really pretty I, I just wanted it to be basically I wanted it to be pretty and so that's why I put in the colors and the papers and pages book pages recipe book pages and everything that I put in here I just wanted it to be something that could be cherished and be a bit, very pretty cover and pretty throughout and I just want to show you one more thing and that's uh, I want to make sure you see the um, side how pretty it looks from the side all the colors and it's um, I would describe it as chunky and it if I didn't say it already it's got 110 pages it is uh, six inches across six and a half inches across and nine inches long so it's uh, not too big not too small I will be making more but this one is in my shop now ready to go and uh, just thank you for watching and I hope you all have a great Saturday and a great weekend and thank you to all my subscribers just hit that subscribe button so that you'll get and if you hit the like button that'll um, make more videos like this come up in your if you, you probably know this but in your when you go on YouTube and it'll be in your recommended section where you have videos you know more videos that you like come up instead of getting things that you don't like you'll when you like a video that lets YouTube shoot more um, videos that you you know like into your recommended section so just hit that subscribe button hit that like and if you want to know, be notified when I put a new video up just hit that little bell beside the subscribe button and you'll be good to go so thank you have a great weekend see you next time bye bye